Hello, us as fifth graders. Uh, today, I'm going to teach you a lesson on spontaneous drawing. Now, this is a really fun lesson. Uh, it doesn't involve any focus artist or painting skills or anything. This, this can be uh, actually a family game or party games. So, well, let me show you what you will need first. Okay, uh, you will need a blank white uh, paper. It, it, you cannot use a color paper for this. Uh, it has to be white paper. Uh, this is a half sheet of a regular copy paper. You could use a full size, but I figure the half size is the easiest to use. So teachers, uh, you can cut your own paper okay, to use it. Uh, if you want to do this in your classroom or give it to your own students or I will uh, put some on my art closet door if you just want to grab it. So uh, e-school kids just grab any smallish paper and you can use scrap paper as long as the surface is white. Okay and you also need black sharpie or black marker. It doesn't have to be sharpie it does not have to be permanent. Uh, you can just grab a black out of markers. Okay. You can do that also. Okay. And you will need something that's color. I have, today I have a crayon, a pack of crayon. And you could use color pencils also. Okay. And that's it. Okay, it's that simple. All right, now let me show you what to do. First, you place your white paper in front of you, okay, and you randomly draw lines. To do this, you will just pretend that you got a brain switch, volume switch right here, okay, and you gotta turn down your thinking capacity all the way down, and you're kinda going, duh. Okay. In other words, you cannot plan this. You just have to do this totally randomly. Let me show you an example that I did. So if, if yours kind of look like that, that's perfect. And notice that some lines are all the way uh, from the edge to edge of the papers. Some lines are shorter. Um, some lines are longer, curved lines, zigzag lines, straight lines, you just do whatever. Okay. But to do that, you cannot close your eyes though. Okay. You have to have your eyes open because you're using the marker and then if you close your eyes, you're probably drawing all over on your mom's table. And then she'll say, what did you do that for? And then you'll say, well, but mom, Mrs. Z told me to do so. Don't do that to me, okay? Open your, keep your eyes open and do it. Okay. Now, if you're worried about drawing uh, lines all over on the table, it's actually a good idea to just get a scrap paper, just any random paper, newspaper or whatever. Put it on the table first and then put your white paper so that you will not worry about drawing out of the edge of the paper, okay? That's up to you, you can do that if you want to. And when you do that, you have to do it the right amount. Don't just keep going and going and going till your paper looks like this. This is way too crowded. You're gonna have a hardest time later, okay? That's too much. But in, do, don't do it too little either. That's just two lines there. You can't really use this, okay? So not too little, not too much, but just right, okay? <laughs> All right, so once you're done, then you turn up your thinking volume all the way up. Now you got to be really alert and thinking. Okay. And then you look at your paint, uh, your random lines, turn the paper this way and that way, the direction doesn't matter. 
okay? And then you try to find something um, in your lines, okay? Just, just start thinking very hard. What do you see on here? You find anything on here? Now let me show you the examples that I did. Okay. Um, this is my first one. If I was doing this in the art room, I will ask you to make at least three pieces. But you can just do one or two or 10 if you want to. <laughs> this is actually an art show uh, piece, <laughs> art show lesson, but you don't have to worry about the art show today. Okay, so here's my first example. I found a duck. Okay. You see my duck? Now, it's okay to uh, use just a line or use a shape. But after you find something, you then color the found object. Okay, got the idea? Okay. My second one is an elephant. You see my elephant? I only have one and a little bit of leg, legs. And, but it still does look like an elephant, right? Okay, now it's okay if you, um, this object does not show the details. I mean, it is impossible using spontaneous lines. And my third one, oh boy, I had a hard time with this one. I sat and thought and thought and thought and couldn't find anything. I almost gave up, but I came up with this finally. This is an abstract image. I titled it, Mother and a Child. You see a mother and a child? Okay, so this is, it's okay if your, um, the thing that you found is an abstract image, as long as people can tell, uh, kind of tell what it is, right? So those are the examples that I made. Now, I made bad examples too. There are several ways to cheat uh, doing this. Okay, number one, cheater. <laughs> This is no, 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 don't do this example, is to plan ahead while you're drawing line. Can you tell where I planned ahead with this? Ah, it's suspicious right here, right? So I can tell, other people can tell if you plan ahead. So don't do that, right? Okay, the next one. I did this really fast, called it a big wave and I colored it not really well. I just did, blah, 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 blah. I'm done. <laughs> so um, I want you to take a little bit more time and make a really good piece out of this, okay? And um, you know, there's one time uh, there's, uh, there was a student who made something like this and then colored that yellow or tannish color and then brought it to me and his titles title was a toothpick. Please, you can do better than that, okay? Don't keep it way too simple. Think harder. Okay, the third cheater right here, okay, is this one. This has a lot of cheatings on this. Okay, see that? You cannot add eye or mouth or anything extra later not even with a sharpie line don't add anything later and then this one right here you see the the circle the roundish shape finishes right there the color is right here but there is actually no black original line there so you cannot just stop the color there right? if you color that orange you've got to come all the way out here and then you can stop okay now this one right here within the one shape, this shape, I wa really wanted to have a rainbow, so I used seven colors. You cannot do that. One space or, you know, as long as you decide to color certain spaces, one or two or more, okay, you got to keep that um, same color, okay? So that's the rule. All right. Now, after that um, bad examples, let me show you good examples. Now, good examples are actually made by Wasatch kids. I made the bad examples. 
<laughs> and the simple examples. But here comes the really good ones by Wasatch Kids. And by the way, after you color it, it is important for you to title, write a title in front so that people can go, aha, right? Okay, the first good one, the blonde woman. You see the blonde woman? Hey, it's pretty clever, isn't it? This one is very poetic. Rocky Mountain. Oh, can you see that? Hey, well done. This one's really cute. An empty cafe. Hey, this one is very romantic. Night dance. And they're all good. And some turns out really pretty or very um, romantic or poetic. Some turn, turn out uh, very funny. Okay. So try it and have fun. Uh, you can do it with other people in your family, okay, if you want to. And enjoy. The lesson is spontaneous drawing. All right, I'll see you next week. Okay, goodbye.